Occasionally, I find myself sitting in the very comfortable, climate-controlled auditorium of our church and glance across the room to see some colorful banners that decorate our walls. They represent the ministries, both at home and overseas, to which we make regular contributions from the church treasury. Some of the people who conduct these ministry efforts are involved in taking care of young children who are the product of broken homes and broken relationships. Others are taking the Word of God to people who have never heard it, often in locations where their safety and that of their families is constantly at risk. As we continue our focus on prayer, it quickly becomes clear that there is no lack of things we need to pray about. We pray for ourselves, our health, our relationship with God, and He encourages us to do that. But we also need to pray for a lost world and for those who are taking comfort, love, and healing to those in distress and the saving gospel of Jesus to those who have not heard it. In the first nine chapters of the book of Romans, Paul explains God's plan for our salvation. And in chapter 10, he says, Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they can believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Please join me in prayer. Father, we pray in this moment for your servants whose hearts you have led to take comfort, healing, and the word of salvation to the hurting and the lost. Encourage and protect them, Father, and help each of us to search our hearts, taking an honest look at how we support those who take on those missions and how we ourselves are serving those we encounter every day who suffer and are lost without you. In his precious name, amen.